Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on the GeForce CTX 1050Di. I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip turn up those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games, also check the humble affiliate links down in the description. I'll be always targeting 60 frames per second if possible, so if you want to use higher settings, target 30, you can do that just fine. But here I'm trying to be at least over 45 frames per second in the worst case scenario. Unfortunately on 1080p that was very difficult. Difficult. I got drops into the 40s sometimes, especially in the blackout mode. Then I could use slightly higher settings on the zombie and multiplayer mode, but still I was dropping below 50 frames per second. I recommend overclocking the GTX 1050 Ti if you're planning to play at 1080p, but so far, at least in my opinion, the sweet spot was 900p. By lowering to that resolution and using very similar settings to 1080p, you can stay over 50 frames per second much more often, usually dropping below that very few times when there are a ton of effects on screen and when you're looking very far into the distance in blackout. After that I switch to 720p and I can use almost the maximum settings and stay at 60 frames per second or more, which was to be expected considering how it ran at 900p. And then at the end of the video I'll show you the i5-8400 and the G4560 both on 900p on the three modes. Since I was fairly close to 60 frames per second and it can show what those CPUs can do, I didn't do more resolutions on those since if not the video will be over 40 minutes long, 30 minutes was my limit to say the least. So far for what I played, the worst performing part was the blackout mode, then the zombie mode in the stage that you are in an arena, and the thing that ran the best for me was the multiplayer mode. I wanted to do an individual video for blackout and then another one for zombies plus multiplayer, but unfortunately I had a lot of issues with blackout finding a server with a lot of people. The South American and Asian servers seem to have problems right now, so sorry about the long video. I'll be speaking less than 6 minutes, so be aware of that. But anyway, usually when I test the blackout mode, I'll be using slightly lower settings than on some zombies and multiplayer. The zombies and multiplayer part will be using the exact same settings. Again I just lowered the settings a bit for blackout. And in the options menu there were a few options that gave me a good boost in performance by lowering them. First of all, order independent transparency. I recommend to turn this off. It provides a good boost in the frame rate and I don't really notice much of a difference unless I'm looking at side by side images, just like on Black Ops 3. It also increases the VRAM usage amount. Then the ambient occlusion option by lowering that from the highest to low. You can usually get a good FPS boost as well. Then the anti aliasing option, you have many options here. You get FXAA plus a lot of SMAA options, plus the filmic options, which are in the previous Call of Duties as well. Then another option that gave me a good boost in the frame rate in some instances was special effects shadows. Pretty good, but it can be expensive if there are a lot of effects on screen. Then the special effects option is quite disappointing in my opinion. This is because by lowering it to the minimum, I didn't see any major difference in performance when effects were on screen. So yeah, in some of my cards, like the 1050. Ti, 750 Ti for example, I always kept this on the minimum just in case when there are a lot of effects on screen like the zombie mode. And the shadow quality option was a little disappointing as well. I usually get a boost in performance by using an option below the high setting. If you use medium or low it doesn't really have a huge difference in performance, so I recommend as a minimum that you use medium if your card can do it. You get much better filtering on the shadows. And then screen space reflection gave me a very tiny boost in performance which was kind of weird as well. And that was about it. The other options like the draw distance or the model quality didn't give me any major boost in performance. I usually didn't see any performance difference at all. I only saw a slight difference in blackout. That's why sometimes you'll see that the draw distance will be lowered to medium. So yeah, first of all, to tweak the game, I'll just lower the options I mentioned first. Order independent transparency, I mean occlusion, anti-aliasing, special effects shadows, and the shadows option. Tweaking those settings helps you to get a good boost in performance. Usually the biggest performance hits are when there are a lot of effects on screen. And in blackout, I notice that when you're far away from certain places, like the firing range, looking at it from a distance, you can get a massive FPS hit. Then when you get close to the firing range, it was fine. It can happen on other locations when you're looking at them from afar. And then on multiplayer and zombies, just a lot of effects on screen was enough to drop my frame rate, especially in the zombie mode. When fire comes from the ground or you're buying a weapon from a wall, just by looking at that very close, it can massively drop the frame rate. So yeah, it can fluctuate quite a bit. And on the multiplayer side, expect a little better performance than shown in this video because I was playing with bots. It was just to play the same map over and over, so we have comparable results, but in a real life multiplayer match with people, you should get a few extra frames. Then on the system RAM side of things, if you're playing multiplayer or zombies, usually 8GB of RAM is fine, but on the blackout mode I saw more than 8GB of system RAM usage very often, 
sometimes it's below sometimes it's over it but it was over 8 gigabytes more often so consider that before buying the game and finally on the cpu side of things i noticed that the quad core cpu was enough to maintain 60 frames per second so if you have an overclock ryzen 3 1200 and i3 8100 that's usually enough to maintain 60s if your gpu is capable then if you have a two core four thread cpu like a g4560 or an i3 7100 to say as an example you should be able to maintain 60s most of the time but when there are a lot of players on screen you should be getting drops below 60 frames per second due to the cpu and if you have a six core i5 or six core ryzen 5 that should be more than enough to maintain 60 frames per second as long as your gpu can do it but yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you keep enjoying the video thanks for watching and see you next time China. Hellstorm available for tasking. Ajax requesting Hellstorm strike. The enemy team have no lives left. Hellstorm strike successful. Potential collapse detected. Advise relocation to indicated safe zone. Absolutely have to. The crowd haven't been mortified like the poor souls on our last trip. There must be a reason, a, a means as to why. The audience revels in our plight. We are just entertainment to them. They want us to fight to the death. Then they will cheer. You bastards in the soul! You think this is fun? Why don't you come down here and have a go, huh? Get your hands all covered in blood and dung! Points. Let's be honest. I should always get double points just for being me. Ha! You called that? 
out of fire? Clearly you haven't seen my lab, have you? I think I burned it down. Don't mean to be a bother, but if any of you could spare a moment, I'd rather not bleed out in this stinking Colosseum! Get back in the fight, Legion. If the crowd wants blood, Diego shall not disappoint. It's nothing personal, Fleshy. Just the cost of doing business! Looks like Shaw's sobering up. I don't know if that's good or bad. How goes it? The forces are contesting out. Threat neutralized. Hostile recon kill. UAV standing by. multiple zones. Contesting Alpha. are contesting A. Hostiles are out of lives. Keep up the pressure. Potential collapse detected. Advise relocation to indicated safe zone.
The rock jockeys don't know how to use these walls, do they? No! I do not need to be burned alive today. Thank you. Let's not be an example for the others. The next time you want to ridicule me, just remember who saved your devil. Yeah. Nurse Boot. Double boys. So in addition to walking around and eating people, they're flame retardant too. I guess I'll work around it. Diego, my boy. I'm starting to believe all the fuss about you. Contesting Alpha. Nine men going in. <laughs> Enemies are contesting Zone B. <laughs> Mercs are contesting B. We're capturing multiple zones. Good job. Bravo locked down. Merc forces are contesting Alpha. Five break eliminated. Hostiles contesting A. They're down to their last lives. Controlling our CXT. Capturing A. Infiltrated. Potential collapse detected. Relocation to indicated safe zone is advised.
to grab more cartridges. These won't last long. Ugh. Am I bleeding? Oh. He's fucking bleeding. If the crowd wants blood, Diego shall not disappoint. Same deal as the walls on the Titanic. Maybe Shaw's right about it all being connected. Nine back. Mercs are being pushed back from all zones. Sit rep, potential collapse detected. Relocation to indicated safe zone is advised. Supply drop inbound.
Need more ammo. Ahem! Maybe that Sky Voice wants to get off its ass and help out? Free chemistry lesson, you plonker! Action and Double reaction! Points. Why points? Why money? Why does this massacre have an economy? Low ammo! Mailed! No difference! As a soldier, I never questioned where my gun came from. I should not start now. Hostiles contesting A. Gunners all zones contested. Take them. UAV standing by. Turn. Sensors are captured. Marks are contesting all those. Ah. Hostiles have destroyed your UAV. Hellstorm available for tasking. Merc forces are contesting Alpha. Enemies are contesting all those. No joy, no joy. No lives left. Fight to your last. Enemy down. The enemy team have no lives left. Taking multiple zones. Hostiles contesting A. Bravo locked down. Enemies are contesting A. Enemies contesting Alpha. Enemy details down to one. Finish this. Enemies are contesting A. 